World Game Cup of last year. He was handing out sweets, being all generous, but it turned out to be secret chilies. Who will emerge a champion? Fight! Hadouken! Hadouken! Oh, my mom will just go off! Oh. This is not really I've never seen Easy Man play anyone other than uh, Ryu. I think if you do or use two main, um, the character you're up, you're up against, but are playing another one, you generally have an advantage. In the same way, when Problem played uh, Punko at World Game Cup two weeks ago, uh, Problem played Viper, it was Viper versus Seth. And he beat Punko, like, definitely helps. Good looking comeback from Kenpachi at the moment. But once again, Easy Man is a very, very unpredictable Ryu. Very unpredictable. Easy Man will pick Ultra 2 against Fei Long and land it. Easy man will be comfortable in the corner. And Patchy fishing for the Super Bowl. Fishing for the Gen Agent, sorry. Put simply, that game just didn't go to plan for Kenpachi. Um We'll see how he can adjust if he stays in the same... Nope, straight to character select screen. Doesn't mean he'll change, but he definitely needs a moment to uh, review what just happened. Yep, and his other character is a Sagat as well. Easy man just thinking about it. Ultra 1 or Ultra 2? Looks like Ultra 1. Easy Man is a professional dancer. Um, the back of his hat says Enfant Perdu, which is the group he's a part of. I remember when his brother Stapcrease once beat Ryan with Gukin in teams at Beat by Contest. He did a spinning handstand on one hand with his body horizontal. It was astonishing. Very athletic. So. Fireball War looking fairly even at the moment. Kepati okay, slowly getting edged towards the corner. Which will be in uh, Easy Man's favour if he gets Ultra and an EX bar, for example. They're both looking to uh, bait the jump in to Anzir. That's why they're feigning the fireballs. You got him? Yep. Did he, he, he missed the fireball completely as well. Kenpachi knows he needs to jump in now. He has got Ultra 2 though, he's trying to close the space. You can see uh, Easy Man has stopped throwing fireballs now. He knows what's up. He has hit, he has eaten almost all of those, all of those EX fireballs. So they're both trying to keep their distance for the most part, which is why the clock ran down completely. They're both looking to jump over each, each other's fireball, but uh, at the same time are too tentative to do it. Ideally, Easy Man's going to want to jump over a low fireball. As it's easier to anti-air they jump over the high one because of the timing of the jump. So right now, both content to just trade fireballs. 
That's round defining damage. Easy man with it all to do. He does have a full ultra one. We'll see if he can land it again. Doesn't look very likely now. Just got to make up all that distance and not get hit by EX, for example. Very patient games. Still fairly even right now. We've taken their time. He's man looking to build his Ultra One by absorbing those fireballs. Even if he doesn't use it, the threat of it reduces Ken Patchy's options. Especially as he backs into the corner and no longer has any uh, real estate behind him. And that's easy man for you. In the first game, um, Ken Patchy got hit by a lot of EX fireballs, but this he's adjusted well in game two. Two thirds of the uh, round have elapsed. Doesn't an anti air there? We could have altered that. Twenty seconds. Mm. Gonna need a throw, and that's the match. Kenpachi has been eliminated. Easy man proceeds to the next round. Quite happy with that.